Welcome to the mystical sixth development log! I said last week I'd have some content. And unfortunately... I actually have content! Yes! Yes! I did a thing! Many, many things. Uh, before I actually... Wow, that voice cracked. Before I actually do anything, um, I'm going to show... what I've been doing in the background. The whole spell system in this game revolves around a bunch of, uh command lines running in a row, and it cycles through, and when enough time passes, it'll run a line. It allows it allows a lot of spells to be made with a much simpler base, and doesn't actually require anything hard-coded. It makes things a lot easier. So, I'm just going to pull it up here. This is what I've been working on. Around the last time, there were about four or five of these things, mostly just a lot of the object commands. But since then, over these past two weeks, I've added in everything else. Like, the ability to start a channeling spell, as the ability to generate random numbers, um, the object things I think were there last time. Uh, in general, this has expanded significantly and has allowed the use of some interesting new spell designs. I'm going to go pull up the uh, prototype now. Nothing is uh, any different with the movement system and, like, the character. But if I go pull up the, uh, let's see, pull up the Dark Ball from last time. So I've made a couple additions to this thing. It still swirls like normal. It still gives off the trail. I haven't fixed the uh, throw issue yet, but, for example, if I throw it right here, it now has a charge time. That's because this is more of a utility spell, and it's kind of powerful. The trail disappears, though. I expanded the uh, radius of it and gave six swirls. It looks much better. And then the initial explosion's damage, or not the initial explosion, the explosion's damage is significantly delayed relative to the rest. I've done that for all of the relevant ones, like the shock ball. Uh, actually, I think it was just the dark ball and the shock ball. I don't remember anything else that had to delay to it. But anyway. All of the uh, damage is dealt in the explosion and not the projectile, so it should make the later edits a lot simpler. Let's see, what else have I done? I have implemented channeling spells. These allow you to continue casting until you let go of, like, click or whatever would be the attack. So I'm just going to start this one here. This one is an ice channeling spell. It just keeps on going until I let go. The ice uh, projectiles are new. And if I let go, it stops. Just to prove that it wasn't a set duration and I faked that, I'm going to fire one with three projectiles exactly. There. Three projectiles. You can do it for any amount or however long you hold it, because there's no mana cost. But Another cool feature, if you throw off a bunch of projectiles, they now have death time. So like they don't clog up the game's resources. They just make little cool firework things. Yeah, it's kind of laggy right now because screen recording, but eh. That's what the ice looks like from far away. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, let's pull up the new other spell. There's a new area of effect spell this week, too. So when you cast this one, it takes a while because this is... I don't know, it's still balancing numbers out. But if you look up in the air, a uh, storm cloud forms and icicles rain from the sky. Yeah. That's that. It'll slowly fade away. And it's gone. That's that. I don't really think there's much else for this week. I don't have it changed much for the uh, hitbox detection or anything. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to close that out and uh, tab back here. Alright. Uh, according to this, next week is going to be uh, the separation of the models. So you can have a character skin and equipment. But I'm still having a little bit of issues with that, so I think I might push this back and work on the items and inventory for next week, or at least start that system and get this later, because I need to have a second model to work with, and unfortunately I only have one. I'm about 80% done the other one, so it should be within reach, but I'd rather uh, work on the items while I have the opportunity and get to the model later. So, um, thanks for tuning in, and, uh... Hope to see you next week.